this is Patricia. I'm Jacqueline. And uh, for us, we actually run this company called the Communication Cove. Um, Tanya and Kim from, from the US. So they're part of our US team. So maybe we can just give them a round. Now, he's a true pioneer in the applied science of neuroplasticity, which he would explain later. And his research has spanned more than four decades, culminating in the cognitive skills programs offered by Learning Arendt. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our esteemed guest speaker, Dr. Ken Gibson. Back 30 years ago, when I was here, um, what we knew about the brain was pretty small. In fact, almost everybody thought that whatever skills you had when you were born was sort of it. So I'm going to be using these terms, how fast, how easy, and how well you can, you can learn. So how do you spell Singapore? See, you didn't have to use these skills to do it. All you had is goals to your storage bank, your memory bank because you've been asked that before, and you just pulled that out and verbalized it. But if I ask you to spell Singapore backwards, uh-oh, you, you do that every day? No, you kind of kick out at about age 25, 27. Okay, who's over 25 or 27? Here, raise your hand. Okay, you're on the downward slope already, all right? Between what we do and what many do. We don't teach. We train. There's a difference. In teaching, you're just relating information. In training, I'm exercising something. All right? Um, I could teach you how to play. Well, hey, I could just sit up here and have a video and teach you how to play the piano and, and show you where the keys are and how you move your fingers, etc., etc., etc. And you will leave here watching my teaching no better piano player than when you walked in, right? I want you to be comfortable. Are you comfortable right now? Not a whole lot, but you, all right. <laughs> now, as I do things, if you become uncomfortable, I want you to change. I want you to move, whatever you need to do. But you are comfortable right now. Are you comfortable now? <laughs> you're okay. All right, you're, you're backing up a little bit. <laughs> but you're okay, all right? Are you comfortable now? All right. All right, go ahead, move. We'll move to where you're comfortable. Okay, good. And I move down here. All right, you notice what's happening? When I create a challenge that is so close to their ability that it's hard for them, it's not very comfortable. What do they do? A child gains some skill. This procedure here, would work on attention skills. So I need a student. So we're gonna say that this is a metronome, okay? And I want you to say the word on me. So it'd be black, red, green, yellow, blue, blue, green, yellow. Let me try something different. So um, now instead of reading the words, I want you to read the color of the words, okay? You ready? Red, black, Blue, yellow, green, blue, yellow, black, green, red, green. Blue, red, 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 red black, black, yellow, black, black good. Okay. Yellow. Okay, and so what we do with the student is we try different levels, we find out where they struggle, and then that's where we work. So you see how tough and difficult that can get real quickly? And can you see how that would improve attention? Schoolwork becomes easy because of the hard work you did in the training. And the training is just short times. So the schoolwork or, or work is the rest of your life. So the idea is to work really hard for a short, short time and get skills that make what you're doing in life easy and fun. Okay? Also, our training is intense, but it is also fun. So. You went a little tough on how tough it is. Um, <laughs> because what we do is we do work like right underneath their frustration level, but the whole time we're working on what they can't do, and, but we're turning that can't into a can. 
and it's fun little games kind of like this and so kids actually enjoy it um, you know the first time they do it it's very different than anything they've done before but they really start to enjoy it um, and they have their own personal coach that's kind of a cheerleader and a coach for them and so most kids really enjoy the training even though it's hard and so it is hard but it's also fun